Doge comes in with an interesting question regarding his CPU, and it is... Should I upgrade from a 5800X to a 5950X, so eight cores to 16 cores, found one for $500, currently have a 3080, 32 gigs of RAM, 240 mil AIO, using three monitors. He plays Fortnite, Warzone, 1440p, 144 hertz. First, a word from our sponsor, Crypto.com, home of the Visa card that pays you up to 8% in rewards and the app that pays you up to 14.5% annually on your crypto stake. Join more than 10 million users on the world's fastest growing crypto app as you trade with confidence on the world's fastest and most secure crypto exchange. More information and a special signup offer at the end of this video. If he had a 2700X, yes, absolutely. A 3700X, maybe. A 5800X is a lot harder because he's already got his N3 chip and it's already really, really good. Yes. And at the risk of upsetting all of the, but you only need six cores for gaming people out there, multiplayer Warzone at high frame rates with a high-end graphics card will use more than eight cores. It will not be faster it will be smoother. smoother. It will uplift the 1% lows. It will prevent background tasks from creating frame time spikes. It'll flatten out the... the uh, It'll flatten out the frame time curve. It will be a nicer overall experience. Games updates will be faster. Multitasking will be faster. Stuff running in the background, voice chat, discord, music, anything else. It, the whole machine will just be nicer. That's a lot of money to spend. It very much depends on what he can sell his 5800X for. If he could sell his 5800X for say $300, and he can buy a 5950X for $500. Now, he's in Mexico, so I don't know what his market down there is, but he'd basically be paying $200 to double his core count, double his cash count on a CPU, and basically get the best CPU on the AM4 platform. He could then wait for Zen 4 to launch, maybe wait for Zen 5 to launch, wait for for DDR5 to get cheaper, wait for the new technologies to come out, and he could just enjoy his computer for a longer period of time. Now, he could keep his current computer and do that too, but 16 cores will last for some period longer. How long is going to depend on him, but 16 will last longer than 8. It will. $500 is a really good price for a 5950X. The $600 they're going retail in the U.S. is less of a deal. Still... What can you sell your current chip for? What, or do you have another use for it? Do you have a Does brother it who needs it? Does it on his motherboard as well? Well, I hope he's on a 500 series board, but that's actually a really good point. He's got 32 gigs of RAM, a 240 millimeter AIO, three monitors, Is and he a 3080. Is he going to his cooling? And what power supply have you got? He should have a decent one if he's got a 3080. See, this is why I keep Rogue around. She asks all the really good questions. And if he does go 5950X, you might want to go some more RAM. That's, that's the insidious part about upgrading one component. We actually recorded another Bite Size Tech a, a while ago talking about you make this part better and then your other parts now feel older by comparison. Then you upgrade that and then this is old. And then all of a sudden, you might as well just build a new machine. I don't think he's quite a build a new machine territory. A 240 AIO is fine. I think he wants to know if the 500 bucks is a decent number for 5950X. Yes, it is. Whether it's worth it to you or not depends upon your ability or willingness to sell your current chip and what you can get for it or whether you have a use for it. For example, maybe he has another machine that has a, a 3600 and he wants to upgrade that and he can sell that chip. You know, or maybe his brother has got a, a 2600 and he can give the chip to his brother and it's going to blow yeah. his mind. So if he's got a use for it or he can sell it for $300 or more, then it's a cheap upgrade. But if you spend the 500 and but you take the 5800X and put it on the shelf and forget about it, that'd be kind of dumb. And it's not really only 500 bucks because more RAM, more cooling. Don't knock 64 gigs of RAM on a 16 core chip. If you double your cores, double your RAM. It's not that expensive. It's a hundred bucks. It's a hundred bucks to add another 32 gigs of RAM. Uh, as far as cooling goes, 240 is, uh, two, uh, 240 will do it in an air conditioned room. That's true. And Mexico, you got cooling? I hope so. It's hot down there. <laughs> yes, it is. But how many people do we 
here that don't have AC. More than I would have expected, but what uh -huh. do I know? Hopefully that helps you out, man. Thanks for the question. How many of you have a Visa card that pays you up to 8% on every purchase? Crypto.com offers an amazing deal on their Visa card with cash back that is an unbeatable deal. No annual fee, no sign-up fee, and no credit checks or interest payments. It works just like a prepaid debit card, allowing you to spend your money everywhere Visa is accepted. But wait, there's more. Get your Spotify, Netflix, and Amazon Prime subscriptions 100% paid for by Crypto.com. Yes, you heard me right. Use your new Crypto.com Visa card to pay for your subscriptions and you get 100% back in rewards. How would you like to earn up to 14.5% annual interest on your crypto holdings? If you're holding crypto for investment, inflation protection, or price speculation, it can be frustrating feeling like your money is just parked. Interest is paid weekly directly to your account to spend however you like. The interest is also paid in the same token that you're holding. So if you have Bitcoin staked, you are in Bitcoin. If you have Ethereum staked, you are in Ethereum, and so on. Of course, you can also buy, sell, and exchange 200 plus different cryptocurrencies. Crypto.com is first and foremost a crypto exchange. Its features including a private wallet with full control of your private keys, margin and derivatives trading options for advanced traders, crypto credit allows you to borrow against your holdings with no deadlines or credit checks, crypto NFTs allows you to explore the new world of non-fungible tokens, Crypto Pay allows you to pay any merchant with crypto and earn up to 10% back in rewards. If you are looking for the place to be in crypto, use our link down in the video description below to sign up today. You will get a $25 crypto sign up bonus and 30 days of 0% transaction fees on credit and debit card purchases of crypto. It supports the channel and gets you a great offer to get started.